All right, welcome back, everybody. How you doing? Uh, it is that time again. With time to go over the local real estate numbers here for the capital region. We're talking about June's numbers for residential real estate. These numbers coming straight hot off the MLS presses here. And my name is Chris McMahon. I'm a local real estate agent right here in the capital region, Saratoga, Albany area, cover the whole area. And if this is your first time on your channel, make sure you subscribe and click that bell to get notified. Don't be like 85% of the people who come and watch it. Then don't get the hottest information as it's coming up because I'm doing a ton of videos all about real estate and the capital region and you don't want to miss any of it so make sure you subscribe and get notified when that when a new video gets get, comes out let's get right into it here let's go real estate numbers as always we're going to start with saratoga springs and we're talking about the average sales price in saratoga springs for the month of june 2020 here we go 544,000 is the average sales price which is down about a hundred thousand from the previous month, so quite a jump down or sort of step down here in Saratoga for that one. Days on the market, they're flying off here now in this time of year. 18 days on the market is the average days on market down from 40, so that's down uh, over what, what 22 days. It looks like that's down there. Uh, active listings 95 is up. From 81 new listings 80 also up from 66 on the previous months and the number of sold is 44 which is exactly the same uh, as a month before that so let's uh, let's move this a little bit down south here talk about Clifton Park what are Clifton Park's numbers average sales price 434,000 for us home sales in Clifton Park again that is down also surprisingly from 480 from our previous month on that one uh, days on the market you want to talk about flying off the market here days on the market five days on the market average for Clifton Park for the month of June, uh, which was down quite a bit. Before that, it was three weeks. So now it's down to less than a week. So things are hot and things are moving here. Um, number of active listings, 51 also up from 41. And we've got new listings, 63, uh, down from the previous months, 84. And we've got the number of solds at 45, which has increased uh, about 12, with about a dozen or so on that department right there. And Albany, Albany's average sales price, 276,000, which is up slightly from 265 from the previous months. Uh, days on the market, again, days on the market is down uh, 10 days, so about a week and a half there, down from about two and a half weeks. So that's dropped down a little bit. Uh, number of active listings, 91, exactly the same as the uh, month before, so not much change right there for Albany. New listings, 114, always uh, seems to be the biggest area we're getting the most listings in the last couple months. It seems to be kind of consistent with that because last month it was 125, so it's down slightly, but still a pretty good number of houses coming out on the market there in the Albany area. Uh, number of solds, 74, jumped up quite a bit, almost 20 in that area from the 58 from the previous month. Uh, now let's move on here. We're gonna talk about Balsam Spa. Balsam Spa. Average sales by month of June, uh, 367,000 up mm, about, about 18,349 from the previous month. So that's right about in the middle 300 area for Boston Spa. Uh, days on the market, 15. Uh, also, actually, no, it's the days on the market are up a little bit on this one from 12. So it's maybe the only one where the days on the market actually slipped a little bit, but they were pretty low from the previous months compared to the other ones there. So, but it's roughly the same in that area. It only changed a couple days, not a big swing for Boston Spa. Uh, active listings also up. We're noticing a trend here. Active listings ticking up in all the areas, but active listings at 58. So that is up 10 from the previous months. Uh, new listings, 39, roughly the same uh, as the month before. Not much change on that one. And the number of souls, 21, exactly the same as the previous month. So again, not much change there. Fairly consistent in the Boston Spa area, except for the active listings, which is up uh, about 10 from the previous month. So Queensberry, average sales price, 350000 in Queensberry. Uh, big jump in Queensbury. That's up 55,000 because the previous month it was 295,000 uh, for the average sales price in that area. Days on the market again down just over two weeks at 15. And we've got number of active listings again up 35 in the Queensbury area. So that's up eight um, from the previous month of 27. And new listings 33 or 34. I'm sorry, 34. Last month was 33. So roughly the same. 
one more we can say it's fairly consistent with the number of listings that are or new listings that are popping on in that area and number of sold is 22 which jumped up six from the previous month so what can we take away from this here for the month of june uh, you know heading into the summer months here with july going to be a hot month not only temperature wise but for selling houses as well and then we got august after that which hopefully that trend carries into august as well but what can we take away from that first of all the big thing that we can take away from this buyers pay attention because you really want to know this that our active listings every area our active listings with the exception of albany we stayed exactly the same so it didn't drop but all the other areas there's been a jump in the number of active listings so something that our buyers want to be uh prepared of because there's been low inventory lately so right about now it's looking like inventory is about as high as we've seen it in quite a while so if you're actively thinking of looking to buy a house now may be a good time to uh, get a hold of me and let's get out there and start looking to see what's on the market because they are out there and the other thing you want to tell me about this is you got to be prepared because the days on the market has dropped. Uh, I think it was the only place, Boston Spa, which was already low, which we mentioned earlier. But all the other places have dropped significantly on that one. So more houses on the market as far as the active listings, but they're going pretty fast, which means you got to be prepared and have yourself set up, have a plan. OK, so that's what we got for that um new listings run roughly about the same uh, prices have dropped a little bit in the saratoga area and that's a, actually that was a significant drop about a hundred thousand but uh, all the other areas i'm looking at have, have fluctuated a little bit up and down but nothing that's gone really really crazy up and down with the exception of saratoga so that's what we got there market report for june now if there's an area that you are interested in that i did not cover and you'd like to know information about it reach out and get a hold of me i'll be more than happy to do a video just like this one our own private video on that area and send it out to you if you've got any questions just in general on the real estate market in the capital region that i can answer for you reach out and get a hold of me as well call text email whatever works the best for you reach out and get a hold of me I'm more than happy to have that conversation with you help you out as much as i can get you set up ready to buy or just answer that questions for you that you may have uh, again if you have not uh signed up Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Get yourself notified for new listings. So when I put out new videos, new market reports, information on the area, when we spotlight a business, that kind of thing, you're getting notified so you're learning all about that area. So subscribe, become a fan here. And other than that, like I said, if you got questions, reach out, get a hold of me, and I will see you on the next video, and I'll see you next month on the market report.